everybody. Thank you so much for joining us today for day two of What's for Dinner November. My name is Noelle and we are a homesteading family here in Ohio. And today for dinner we are going to make a creamed spinach and chicken or creamed spinach chicken. And we're going to put that over some pasta and then we're also going to have a hot bacon salad which sounds so good. I cannot wait. I haven't had that in so many years and just I can't wait to have it. I had it many times growing up and it is about 118 right now. We're also making a pie, a vanilla pie. So I'm going to go on and start the pie itself so that it has time to sit in the fridge before dinner tonight. Now I have a small dilemma. I'm going to make the pie crust right now. <laughs> Um, but I have to wait on my chickens for the rest of the eggs in order for me to make the vanilla pot or the vanilla pudding that's going to fill it. Uh, normally that's not a problem. We get 12 to 15 eggs a day. However, my husband let me know this morning he needed 18 eggs. Somebody was buying them from him at work when he went into the office and that kind of took what the eggs that I had <laughs> sitting around because I had been giving them away. And, and a bunch home with Jake over the weekend and stuff. So I have two eggs right now and I need three egg yolks. So hopefully by the time the pie is done cooking, I can go out to the coop and get some more eggs. For right now though, let's go on and make the pie. I am gonna be making a pie crust from scratch. You could do a store-bought pie, a pre-made pie, however you wanna do it, a frozen pie crust, however you wanna do it. Um, and then we're gonna go on and bake the pie crust and just have it baked and ready. Okay, so to do the pie crust, I keep mine very simple. It's the way that my grandmother um, always told me how to make it. And that's, I'm just gonna start with some flour. To that, I'm gonna add some salt. And then I'm going to use lard, but Crisco or butter work also. And then I'm just going to get in with my hands to do this. And I'm just going to kind of break it up in here. that's broke up in there. I'm just going to add some ice water. And it does have to be ice water. An ice cube in there. And it's better to start off with a little bit too little than too much. Because you can always add a little bit more. sprinkle a little flour. She's sitting here doing homework, honey. And flour that real good right there. This is ready. She's in at the table. Doing her homework. Then I'm just gonna roll it. Oh, 
all around it <laughs> and then it instead of making tarts and now I'm gonna go on and bake this pie crust we're in here <laughs> in the chicken house and they're all <laughs> thinking I brought them treats oh look Yay, we got some eggs. So I'm gonna go in and grab some eggs. You guys were busy while I was gone. Let's look. Hi, baby. Hi, baby. Four. That's good. Nothing in that one. Hello. How are we doing? I don't want to step on anybody. You guys got to get out from under my feet a little bit. Let's see, Mama. All right. Good deal. Hey, thank you guys so much for all your work. Thank you, my babies. I'll bring you treats in just a little bit. I'll bring you treats. What are you talking to us, sir? What do you have to say? You're always talking. All right, so to make the pudding, I do have everything pre-measured so that it just goes really fast. But we're gonna start heating some water. I'm gonna bring this up to a boil. Then I'm gonna set this bowl over top and we're gonna make like a double broiler that way. I really could even use a little bigger of a bowl if I had one cleaned, but I don't. All right, so this is getting ready to boil. So I'm just gonna go on and set this over top of this right now. And to this, I'm gonna add two and a half cups of whole milk. I'm gonna add a half a cup of sugar. A fourth cup of cornstarch. and a fourth teaspoon of salt. And I'm just gonna whisk this together until it starts to thicken up. This does take a little bit of time. Thickens, we are going to add our egg yolks. If you've never done this before, you do not wanna just pour egg yolks in here. I have three egg yolks beaten. You do not want to just pour them in here because they will turn literally into scrambled eggs. First pie I ever made because <laughs> it's Charles's favorite pie. I was so excited. It's like the first year we were together and I definitely just dumped it in and God love him. He ate it. Choked it down even with the scrambled eggs in it. <laughs> but uh, you know I quickly learned you have to take and spoon a little bit of this hot mixture in here. Stir it around so that you can get these eggs egg yolks into a same temperature as what you got going on in here and then you pour it in and this just stays good and smooth all right this is finally starting to thicken so now I'm gonna do just like I told you I'm gonna take some of this I'm gonna add it in here. I'm gonna stir it. They call this tempering the egg. I'm gonna add a little bit more. And stir it. And now I should be fine to get that in here. I will tell you the egg yolks from fresh eggs right from the farm. Like you can't any, get any fresher than what we had today. They do, they are much richer. They're thicker and they are definitely richer. So now we're gonna stir this up. And let this go for a few minutes till it gets all good and thick again. Might seem like it's taking forever, but it's really going pretty quick. I told you guys it was 1.30 and I started making the pie crust and everything and it's just now 2.04. So, 
we're doing very good. All right, this is definitely thick. It's the consistency of pudding. So now I'm gonna use my pot holders. I'm gonna turn that off. I'm gonna use my pot holders and very carefully remove this because it's gonna be hot. Do you wanna get that off the heat? Try to move this out of the way so you guys can see. And now all I'm gonna do here is add a tablespoon of butter and about a teaspoon of some vanilla to give it the vanilla flavor. And then I'm gonna use a pot holder because this is hot. Stir this all up until it's nice and melted. That's it, you guys. Beautiful, fresh, from scratch, vanilla pudding. It's really not hard to do. I'm gonna set this in the back. This needs to cool, and I'm gonna pull out our pie crust as well. And there's our pie crust. It's nice and done. And as you guys see here, as our pie crust is done, you can't even see where I smashed it all in. I know it looked kind of ugly when I put it in, but it really just kind of helps everything stay out on the edges and not shrink up when you bake it. And then the pudding. So we're gonna let these just cool off. As soon as they cool, I've got three really, really ripe bananas <laughs> that I need to use up. So I'm gonna put three bananas in the bottom and then the cold pudding on top and then that'll go in the fridge until dessert tonight. Now, if you wanted to, you could always do like a meringue on top, although I don't, I wouldn't put the bananas in, I would just leave the vanilla pudding and do a meringue if you wanted to on top. But I'm just giving my egg whites back to my chickens because they love them and it's good for them. And then um, I wanted to use up these bananas. Now you could also use whipped cream or Cool Whip or something like that on top if you wanted to. We're just gonna leave it plain, but those are options that you can do as well. Okay, everything is cooled off. So now I'm just going to cut the bananas, which are very ripe. Top that with the pudding. Okay, guys, it's about three o'clock. I'm going to put this in the fridge and this will sit until it is time for dessert tonight. And I'll start dinner probably at about four. All right, it's time to start on dinner. I wanted to start at four o'clock. It's now 4.54, it's almost five o'clock. <laughs> so life happens, it gets in the way. And actually, I had to defrost, which I had this sitting out since yesterday, my chicken thighs. So and it looks like I defrosted a little bit too much on one side, not enough on the other. But it'll work. <laughs> All right, so we're going to start making the chicken first. We're going to go on and put on all the spices and make like a rub on it. And then we're going to let that sit for about 20 minutes. Okay, to season this chicken, I am going to use some basil. This is just basil that we dried last year. This will be our kind of our rub. Then I'm going to sprinkle it with some oregano, then some oregano, and 
a little salt. Garlic powder. Smoked paprika. I lost my little <laughs> thing to it, so I'm just trying to make sure I don't get too much anywhere. Although I don't know if you could have too much smoked paprika. I love that stuff. And some freshly cracked pepper. Now we're going to just kind of rub that in, push it in. Then we're going to flip it over and do the same thing. And then we're just going to let that sit on the chicken for about 20 minutes. It just soaks in there. So flip them over. And we're going to do the same thing. Okay, so while that's sitting down for about 20 minutes, I'm gonna go on and get all the ingredients that I need together to make the um, hot bacon dressing and the chicken dish. I'll also go on and get some pasta together and just kind of wipe up my mess. <laughs> so I will be back with you in just a few minutes. Okay, we're gonna turn our burner on a medium to medium high heat. And then we're gonna heat some oil in a pan We'll let that heat up and then we're going to start cooking our chicken. So we're cooking it on each side about six minutes and then we're going to check it with a thermometer and we want it to be 165 degrees or just cooked all the way through. Okay, now I'm going to do the same thing with the other three chicken thighs. While that's finishing up, I've got some water getting ready to boil here. I just added some salt so I can cook the noodles to the top the chicken, or to put under the chicken. Okay, so now I'm just sauteing the onions until they were soft and adding the garlic. Then to that, I'm gonna add a half a cup of white wine, or you can use chicken broth. And a fourth a cup of sour cream. And I wanna whisk that. Bring that back up to a boil. 
Then we're gonna add in a fourth a cup of heavy cream. And now we're gonna add a tablespoon of butter. We're gonna stir this until it melts in and then we're gonna cook it for another two or three minutes. Now I'm gonna add my spinach in. I'm gonna add just a little more wine, just kind of thin it out a little bit more. We're going to start adding the chicken back in. I wish you guys could smell this. It smells so good. Okay, the water is boiling, so I'm gonna go on and do the noodles while we make the bacon, hot bacon dressing. Okay, let's see if you guys can see what I'm doing over here. For the hot bacon dressing, I'm just gonna start with frying up bacon. It's a pound of bacon. Now I'm going to take this bacon, I'm going to take it out of the pan, and I only want to have about a fourth a cup of grease left in the pan. And it did say cook it until it's almost burnt. That's going to make it have brown color to your dressing. So I'm going to dump a little bit of this grease out. All right, next, we're gonna throw in our onions. Cook them up real quick. I'm gonna add a half a cup of water. This is a fourth a cup of white wine vinegar, and I'm sorry, fourth a cup of white vinegar and a fourth a cup of rice vinegar. And I'm also gonna add in a half a cup of sugar. In this bowl here, I have two tablespoons of cornstarch. I'm just gonna add a little water so that I can mix that in to thicken this up. Ooh, we're going to thicken this up very quickly. <laughs> And now we're going to add all that bacon back in there. I'm going to add just a little more water. So here is the salad dressing. We're gonna let that just cool just a minute while we put everything else together. 
the noodles look about done so I'm gonna get this all put together all right so here it is dinner tonight guys this is so good so good so we're doing the chicken the creamed spinach chicken along with the hot bacon salad sorry I know it's hard to see stuff in here this is a very dark room I'm trying <laughs> I've got lights on me um, okay there maybe you can see a little better Charles is holding the light for me I wish you guys could smell this and taste it so good all right you guys that's it that's gonna wrap it up for tonight we're gonna go eat this delicious dinner and <laughs> we will see you guys tomorrow thank you so much for watching <laughs> and have a great day or night wherever you are bye everybody